we have our own issues. Mm -hmm. In fact, by now we, we are banned by the old Badminton World Federation. So we are hoping that the new CS, if he can in person meet these guys and tell them they both stand to lose. I think in the, a few years ago in the All-African Games, mm -hmm. we managed to get a, a bronze in the ladies' doubles, Lavina Martins and Ma, Marcy Joseph. Mm -hmm. Right. <coughs> so at least we can pay my sponsors for Madge. No, 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 no. Alright, ni mama mbaya ni mwanani ya sports ai Kenya. Kama ndo hino mwanani yako kwanza kuingia hapa. Karibu sana. Hakisha kwamba na gonga subscription button manake right now right here is about to go down. Na juu kiona hizi, I know some of you already know what we are about to talk about. What we are about to talk about ambayo ni mchezo wa badminton. Mimi nasema badminton lakini sitaki ufikirie pale it ni badminton. It's badminton. And of course in the building ni ya sports ai Kenya ni amazing guest. Eh, kama kawaida karibu sana ndani ya Sports Eye Kenya Asante. and of course eh, kumbuka kufollow our social media pages Facebook, Instagram and Twitter Facebook tunakuwa kama Sports uh, Sports Eye Kenya pale Instagram ni Sports underscore I and of course Twitter page yako yetu ni Sports Eye Kenya so of course mgeni I introduce at my to nani haswa and of course kwenye mchezo in this world of sports anafanya nini haswa au sio mambo vipi Wandera Isaac Mapesa na mimi ni mchezaji wa badminton. Mm -hmm. I'm also the chairman of Mombasa Badminton. Wow, mimi ni na chairman. Ai, niko na chairman ndani ya Sports Eye Kenya. Amazing, yes. <laughs> so tuko na Mombasa Badminton Club mm -hmm. and other clubs within Mombasa. Mm -hmm. So basically tunajihusisha na kupromote mchezo huu wa badminton. Mm -hmm especially in cost. Uh -huh. Yeah, we only deal with the cost mostly, uh -huh. but our players also take part in events that happen in Nairobi uh -huh. or even Kisumu. Oh, or even Eldorit. Yes. Wow, wow, amazing. Coaches, chairman, sorry. Nigeria, we use it. What? I'm also a coach. You're also a coach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Like I'm a teacher. When you're chairman, I'm a student. You're a student. You're a student. You're a student. No, I say I'm a teacher. You're a student. Oh, you're a student. When I coach, uh huh. And they take part in games. Wow, wow. Yeah. When you even use it, what is the demand of badminton of this sport? Because I'm a teacher. 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 Because the only thing maybe it's an indoor game, so we play indoor. It's very difficult for people from outside to see. Mm -hmm. But uh, as we are speaking, we have so many other clubs where badminton is taking place. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Stars Badminton Academy, mm -hmm. which is at Burhania Sports Club. Wow. There are mm -hmm. people, it's a club, people are training there. Mm -hmm. This is Maraki Badminton. Mm -hmm. Some people train at Aga Khan Sports Club. Mm -hmm. Some people train at Lohana uh, Hall, which is somewhere in Majengo. Mm -hmm. And then we also have others training at Goan Institute. Mm -hmm. So I have mentioned clubs that just uh, can be accessible by people from outside. Uh -huh. But we also have schools, uh -huh. like the Aga Khan Academy. Mm -hmm. We have badminton there. Jaffari, mm -hmm. we have badminton. Mm -hmm. Oshwal uh, Academy Bombalulu, mm -hmm. Shiriswan Narian. Mm -hmm. And then we also have Memon uh, Sports Club. Wow. We have badminton. So badminton Any, is wide in cost. Uh -huh. Recently we had an outreach where we went to play in Kwale. Uh -huh. uh, there is a team in Kwale. Uh -huh. We also went to Malindi, uh -huh. very recent. Uh -huh. There is a team in Malindi. Uh -huh. And we played against them, are friendly. Uh -huh. So cost generally, badminton is doing well. Uh -huh. Yeah, that is what I can say. What's the other name of a shuttle? A shuttle is just a shuttle. How many pieces is a shuttle made of? 
That's a very difficult question. Just to be honest, yeah. I've never counted. You've never counted. There are 16. I just play. <laughs> but they are 16. You, mu <laughs> you must be very keen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I used to play badminton actually. Why, yeah. no, why not playing now? I don't know. I just nearly quit badminton. Now, I want you to talk to people who want to join badminton after they want to indoor quit. Indoor games, people don't quit. Because indoor games, what I know about indoor games, uh -huh. they are addictive. Yes, it's addictive, yes. Actually, every sport is addictive. For us, like we play like from Monday to, to Saturday, uh -huh. we get tired and we wake up uh -huh. and we come again. Uh -huh. From work, uh -huh. is here. Uh -huh. Yes. Chairman, yes. we've seen the old government is shut talk at five four. The new government has come in. Na hivi amanisha kwamba dokets mingi zime change. Wala mbao liko palo meondoka, wengine wapu wameletua. Now, since it's sports, we're talking about sports. And in the Ministry of Sports, a new CS walikuwa chosen na alichaguliwa pale na the president mm. william ruto mbaye ni ababu na mwamba honare ababu na mwamba wewe mwenye personally maoni yako haswa ni yapi tu kwa uh, uh, maoni yako ni gani kwa sababu when when ruto chose ababu na mwamba what's mm. your thoughts on that what's your general feeling as a sport fanatic as a player as a coach as the chairman mm. of badminton huku hivi mombasa uh, i'm optimistic mm -hmm. because uh, it is the first time we have not worked with him mm -hmm. and uh, the expectations mm -hmm. is that he's going to do better than the previous CS. Mm -hmm. We are not saying that he did not try, the previous CS worked, mm -hmm. but we are hoping that he can go further mm -hmm. at least, basically if he can solve the wrangles in federations. Mm -hmm. Badminton we have our own issues. Mm -hmm. In fact, by now we, we are banned by the old Badminton World Federation. Why were you So we banned? are only playing locally. Why were you banned? Oh, it is kind of a long story. Me but we, to, when, to when, we to it, to when we talk of wrangles, uh -huh. it gives you an idea of why we were banned. That uh -huh. we have two groups that are fighting to be in charge of Badminton. Which, which group and which group? <laughs> Now, we have uh, a regime uh -huh. that was be, had already been recognized by the BWF, mm -hmm. which is led by someone, Geoffrey Shigoli, mm -hmm. as the Secretary General. Mm -hmm. uh, and we also have another group mm -hmm. that went to register itself by the Sports Registrar, mm -hmm. and it is led by Michiri. Mm -hmm. Now, one group is recognized outside, another group is recognized internally. Oh, so, so, so in that circumstance, yes, uh -huh. those Inje, they don't recognize them. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And whoever is recognized outside is you not recognize. recognized by the sports registrar. So we are stuck there. Uh -huh. And now the BWF tried to bring these uh, people together uh -huh. and they failed because both the groups have interests mm -hmm. personal interests mm -hmm. and because of that the bwf uh, wrote a letter and told us until they do a free and fair election that is all inclusive mm -hmm. so that we have only one what? group leading the game uh -huh. that is only when they will allow kenya to take part mm -hmm. in international competitions uh -huh. so basically we can organize for our own we organized mm -hmm. Coast Open here in June, mm -hmm. and uh, we had even people coming from Uganda to play. Mm -hmm. But yes. I had to go through a long process to make them to be allowed to come and play. Mm -hmm. A very long process. Mm -hmm. So we are hoping that the new CS, if he can in person meet these guys and tell them, they both stand to lose. Because right now, no one can gain from the game. Mm -hmm. Between the two groups, mm -hmm. they cannot gain. Do you feel like uh, players are losing uh, during this period whereby you guys haven't, uh, the bad badminton Kenya hasn't sat down to solve their wrangles? Do you feel like the players are losing? The players are losing a lot mm -hmm. because we had a crop of players mm -hmm. who had come up who are very strong, mm -hmm. energetic, mm -hmm. and remember the years are moving. Mm -hmm. As the years go, mm -hmm. even their, their mileage of being productive in sports, they are reducing. Mm -hmm. 
we had our uh, top seed in Kenya, John Wanyoike. Mm -hmm. He reached a point when he could even go to Uganda and win a tournament in Uganda. And Uganda, they are a little bit ahead when it comes to the game. Mm -hmm. He was winning, but right now he's not even allowed to play even in Uganda. Why? Why is not why is Wanyoike you, not allowed to play in Uganda? A player from a band, the, the BWF statute, a player from a band federation uh -huh. cannot be allowed to play in a, a, a different country, uh, especially sanctioned tournaments. Uh -huh. But but recently there was common uh, Commonwealth game whereby Wanyoinke represented us in uh, Birmingham. Is, uh, does that is maybe just to correct mm -hmm. Sekoyo represented. Uh, yes, yes, Sekoyo, Sekoyo, I mean, Sekoyo and Sekoyo. Saumia Gupta yes, from yes, Mombasa here. Yes, yes. Now it was a very long process. Mm -hmm. So many letters were written to BWF mm -hmm. to try and convince them mm -hmm. that you let's allow at least some Kenyans to take part as individuals. Mm -hmm. They did not go there mm -hmm. as being presented by the Federation. Mm -hmm. In fact, the registration was done by the, the, the National Olympic Committee. No, that is. Yes. Uh -huh. Uganda mm -hmm. had over 12 players taking part. Kenya had only two. That's male and female, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One male, one female. Mm -hmm. Why? Because of the situation we are in. So players are losing out. We mm -hmm. had so many players. That mm -hmm. group of John Wanyoike, uh, Sami Sikoyo, Edwin Waitatu, Edwin Akwanyi, mm -hmm. that group was very strong. Dr. Abna Barongo, Nixon Kiprotich, mm -hmm. that group was a group of very talented and energetic players. Mm -hmm. Those guys could even find themselves to go for tournaments in Uganda. And they win. They come with medals. They were able, they had their ability. But as years are going, mm -hmm. You know, as a sportsman, sports is supposed to be an income-generating activity. Yes. Now, they'll be forced to look for other activities like farming, because oh, wow. now they cannot benefit from badminton. But, do, do you feel like uh, badminton is getting full support from the government? Is it? Um, I think mm -hmm. the only... Uh, loose end that I can talk about is that they, the government has uh, failed, especially to term these uh, federations that emerge or the wrangles that are just to term them. Mm -hmm. That is where the government has failed. Mm -hmm. But initially, the government was supporting because when it comes to all African games, they use through the National Olympic Committee. Mm -hmm. Badminton was represented. I think in the uh, few years ago in the All African Games, mm -hmm. we managed to get uh, a bronze in the ladies' doubles, Lavina Martins and Ma uh, Marcy Joseph. Mm -hmm. They got a bronze. They performed on the continent. So that means the ability of Kenyans in sports is very high, mm -hmm. but then the government should do more to make sure that people who come to sports mm -hmm. as bro sports brokers mm -hmm. or with the personal interests mm -hmm. are put in check. Mm -hmm. They must be checked. Mm -hmm. So that for the good of the player. Wow, wow, wow. Deep, deep. That's very deep. As a, bad, as a former badminton player, who... You can come back. You can come back. Now, at a watcher to Kuchoka, badminton is very good for your health. Yes. And uh, if, like for us, mm -hmm. at our age, we play this mm -hmm. to just keep ourselves fit. Yes. Wow. And badminton can also keep you away from visiting the hospitals daily. Mm -hmm. So if you don't want to benefit doctors, mm -hmm. Come back to my meeting. Wow, wow. I will come back to you. Alright, of course, November leave you. This is how we do it, of course. Deep, amazing conversations always going down down your sports I Kenya. And today I'm having a very amazing person, chairman of Badminton Coastal Region, Hapa Yvindani at the building, of course, Kumuka. You can follow us on our social media pages, Sports I Kenya, that's Facebook, Sports underscore I, that's Twitter, also Sports underscore I, that's our Instagram.
Fed. Mimi tunamaliza malizia maana yake kile kinachukua na mwanzo lazima kiwe na mwisho. Kabisa. Chairman, is there anything you like to tell somebody, anybody? Awe awe prezo, awe ababu, awe any player watching you right now. Is there anything you like to tell that person? Uh, even before I even go to the president and the CS. Uh -huh. Who we are these two guys. Uh -huh. They have a lot to deal with to mm -hmm. promote our country. Mm -hmm. The two factions that have wrangles, mm -hmm. the guys in charge, mm -hmm. if they have any feelings for the sports people in Kenya, mm -hmm. they can just shake their hand, mm -hmm. uh, come together, mm -hmm. organize for a free and fair election. Mm -hmm. If they are elected, well and good. Mm -hmm. If they are not elected, they support those who will get elected mm -hmm. for the game to move on. Mm -hmm. Because once this generation, once we lose this generation of talented sportsmen, mm -hmm. then it will take time again mm -hmm. to create another generation that can compete outside. Wow, wow. Mjasemaje niye mtoto wa kike, sina la kuongezea, ama sina la kuondoa. Ila of course kama kawaida vile mimi husema tu kila kinachokuwa na mwanzo lazima kiwe na mwisho ama uh, wanasema wengine everything that has a beginning must have an ending and an ending ni tricks binti mkali wa hizi kazi kibonge mwepesi mzizi wajiwe mjanja wa kujituma sana bwebu wa kutumia laki mbili ni sasa ila hakisha kwamba unagonga subscription ndani ya this amazing youtube channel until next time tutapata na hapa hapa with another amazing different content god bless you